Hello everybody. Come on stroll with me. <laughs> right now we are going to either a 7-Eleven or a Family Mart because it's super cheap for breakfast. And then we will be on our way to Jufan Old Street. It has uh, lots of, it's like a nice lively street scene with um, food vendors and it's in the new Taipei city area. So we will see you there. Good. We got coffee, two pastries. I think this is filled with cheese, and I think this has some. Where well, I'm hoping it has butter inside, and I forgot what this is, but I think like it has meat, meat bone. Yeah. Meat in it. So hopefully it's good. It's a fresh. Yeah, they're interested to eat picnic. 
in the gas station. Not the gas station, but 7 Eleven, and you said it was good. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it was, <laughs> but it was good. It just had a weird smell. So we're trying to get back to the station. This is very confusing. We're lost. It goes in a circle and I think we are actually underneath the bus station. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel hot and tired and thirsty, um, but yeah, it feels good here. It's good because you actually get surprised when you see uh, uh, tourists. There's, there's not many. There's not many of them. So it, it feels very good to feel like you're the only one here, at least from the western side of the world. And you do get a lot of looks, and you don't know whether they're good or bad, but it's okay. So. Let's see. Oh, okay. I, I remember this part. So our, that's the bus station. Okay. According to those symbols, it says it was built in 1923. And it says welcome. Hi, what's up? Who's trying to get on? I'm just kidding, I don't know shit. So basically, we are on our way back to um, Taipei. And so far we've only spent about 20 bucks, and that is like four payments uh, each for the buses, for two buses. And um... 20? Yeah, 20 bucks. 20 in total with breakfast. With breakfast. Uh, and drink. drinks. So um, we still buses. have, yeah, so it was like basically like 12 bucks to go and come back, which is like six divided in two. So basically six dollars to go and come back per person. Um, Very cheap. And it's what, like an hour to come, and I think we have like two hours for some reason to get back. It's like an hour and a half to get here, and then I guess based off the time of the day, it's about two hours now get back so now we're probably gonna go back to our hotel shower and all right we're gonna try to go to Taipei so we can go to one of the markets night markets at least we're hoping and we can find some food over there so talk to you later <laughs> So before we ended up going to the night market, we decided we would squeeze in the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, which holds the statue of the President of the Republic of China. And around the um, Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, you have gardens and you have other buildings also. I would advise to bring water and lots of it because it's very hot and humid. And don't forget to bring a rain jacket just in case because shelter between the buildings is very far. Don't get caught in the rain. And we're finally here. And ready to eat. So let's see what they got. Called Hot Star Chicken, and it's like a huge piece of like chicken steak. It's very popular, so we're gonna try it. Yeah. That's the sign up there. So you guys can read it. Yep, it says fried chicken. <laughs> So hopefully this chicken is worth the wait. Spicy. And 
and juicy. It's really? good. For two dollars, this whole entire thing, whole entire bag is a piece of chicken. It's delicious. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this drink, this watermelon drink, was uh, 30 Taiwanese dollars. So, one dollar. So, we're back in a uh, long line. What are we waiting for? Uh, sesame buns that are like baked in a barrel. Very popular. Are they filled with something? Yeah, I don't know. Some type of meat. It could be filled with some type of meat. So, it's obviously good because there's a long line and the chicken that we had was delicious. Super spicy, juicy, and crunchy. Crispy. So, hopefully... Either spicy or not spicy is good. Because I got no spice and he got spice. And he said it was spicy, but it was really good. Yeah, so hopefully this is good too. We'll see. So I got my what? Sesame, sesame bun? Yep. It's a little more toasty than what I would like it to be, but yep. I didn't have an option. That's too bright. And it was way too hot for me to eat it right away, so I let it cool down a little bit so I can actually give it a good bite. Let me see the top part. Okay. So let's see. What's it taste like? Like bread. <laughs> oh, your favorite. <laughs> so it's good. It, it looks like it has beef and some type of like uh, green onion. Let me see. Hold on, this guy wants to come in here. So, let me see. Good? Yeah, that's definitely worth waiting for. What are you eating? A sweet potato ball. A happy sweet potato ball. They're actually pretty damn good. Okay, so we're back at the hotel from being at the night market and eating all those goodies. Um, we wanted to tell you guys that each day we had a budget of about $40. And we've only spent every day about 32 to 35 bucks, so we're under budget. And that's, you know, eating breakfast, lunch, snacks, drinks. So it's pretty cheap. Um, our next destination after Taipei is Yilan. So stay tuned for our next videos on that area so you can see our other adventures. Um, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe only if you want to so you can follow us on our adventures. Okay, see you in the next video.